Good morning, this is Connie, and it is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. I'm happy to have you join me. I um, haven't been filming all week. I just, my depression got the better of me this week. All I've wanted to do, I'm off work this week, so all I have done is sit around, and I changed my living room around. That's as far as I've gotten. So I am making myself get up today and kind of kick myself in the proverbial ass. And I'm going to film some videos today. <laughs> so let's do some makeup. I've already put on my spackle. I washed my face, moisturized, and I put on my spackle. So I'm going to use my um, Infallible Pro Glow. That is in my project pan this year. So I'm going to use that. And I do really love this. And I'm going to use my trusty brush a little bit of that on there it seems like I haven't worn foundation in like forever I look up at you I'm looking to make sure that you're in range so I'm not missing half my face like I tend to do I've got the camera angled down just a little bit more so the top part of my head is kind of kind of um, out of frame. Just a tiny bit more on for my forehead. I got a lot of videos watched, watched this week. Okay, that's all for that. Might as well put them in my little basket here. Okay, so eyebrows, I picked my um, Too Faced Brow Quickie Brush on Brow Fiber Cream, and it is in Universal Taupe that looks like just a real small spoolie which I like last time I used this it didn't seem like there was a whole lot of product but it seems like it's a little better today but the last time I used it I think was the first time I'd ever used it Although I did find that it has a little bit of a tendency to smear. Got lipstick on my feather. something. Now I'm going to go a little bit out of my comfort zone for my Modern Renaissance palette. I am going to go use some of the reds today. We're going to do a cranberry eye for Thanksgiving. 
I am going to try. I'll promise you that. I'm not going to say that I'm going to be successful because you know me, I'm not very good at eye looks. But we're going to try. So, first thing I want to do is put down some tempura all over my lid. And this palette looks well loved already, even though I haven't used it a ton. But it is so soft that if you get the edges of the bottom of your brush close to the actual pan, it shows, it leaves that mark. I noticed that today when I was looking at it and trying to decide what I was going to do. Okay, clean my brush off. So I'm going to take this little Real Techniques brush, and I really wish they would say what they're for. Wait a minute, maybe it does. Essential crease, br crease brush. Aha! Okay, and I am going to use this Bonfresco color here for my crease. And I'm going to go a little above my crease. because we're going to put another color for transition. And I have very hooded eyes, so you know that I really do need to go above that crease in order for you to see it. But I can't go too high on this eye because of missing part a little little bit. My eyelid is a little bit shorter on this side because it had to be sewn together at one point. I'm gonna go just a little bit on this one. I don't think that I got that quite the way I wanted it. Okay. I watched an eye look this morning and I'm trying to remember how she did this. I'm going to um, use the same brush. I cleaned it off, but I'm going to go into, if I can remember, this red ochre. And I'm going to do my crease with that. My actual crease. I'm just doing mainly the outside, going into the center, and then going over with what's left on my brush. My goodness, that's a pretty color. It's very downcast here today, so I don't have much natural light coming in here. I don't know why I cleaned off my brush. I didn't need to, I guess. This eye is so much harder for me to do. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like the halo effect. So I'm actually going to use the same brush. Or No, I'm not going to use that same brush. I'm going to use, um, this is an older Avon brush that I have. But it is for, you know, precision. I don't even know what it's called. Everything is, is off of here so far. Avon rounded shadow brush is what it says. And I am going to go into my love letter. And I'm going to go on the outer third and the inner third of my eye.
and uh, Geek Out of Water is the person that I was watching this morning. I am not going to use the um, brown color that she used, though. I just um, don't trust myself to get that right. And then with nothing on my brush, I'm just going to go and kind of join them. Thus making the halo. Looks kind of funny now, but I'm going to be blending. I really hope this turns out right. If it doesn't, don't blame her because I'm, I'm just trying to follow kind of what she did. And I can't remember if I'm missing steps or not, so... Join it with nothing more on the brush. Okay, and clean that brush off. And then what I'm going to do is with the flat shadow brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to go into my Primer Primavera. Sorry, that gold color. And I'm going to go where I didn't have any shadow before. My eye. I have old eyes, remember, so they get, they're pretty wrinkly. Okay, so what she did, is she took her rounded brush again, and just with a tap, kind of go in and smooth out those edges. So it doesn't look quite so stark. And go up. brush I think hoping you can see this well enough Okay, so I'm going to go in with a blending brush, and I'm just going to blend just a little bit. I think it actually looks pretty good, but I'm going to blend a little bit. This is a clean brush. What she did was go in with that um, tempera, the one that I did the whole lid with, and do under the, I think it was the tempera anyway. If it wasn't, oh well. I'm not going to do any liner or anything because I just don't do that. Guys, I hope that looks right. Zoom you in and look a little better. Tell me what I should have done different if it's not right, okay? 
All right, that there's that. Avon brush. And I'm going to go into that love letter, just a tap, and kind of bring that down. On both eyes, of course. And then I'm going to go into the um, Cypress Umber, which is that brown. And I am going to tap my brush there, and I'm going to... That actually is dark enough where it... I think I may have just goofed up this whole look. out those edges a little bit. thought I had a phone call, but I guess not. So anyway, that is my eye look. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm not thinking it looks too great because I'm just not used to these kind of colors, but you let me know what you think. Um, just don't be mean. Say nice you know, if you can't say anything nice, I guess don't say anything at all. <laughs> all right, so let's do some eyeshadow. And I'm going to, not some eyeshadow, some mascara. I'm going to use the Better Than Sex today. It's just a sample size. See, close up, I think they look really good. But looking in the mirror, I don't think they look so good. I mean, away from me, the mirror or the viewfinder. But close up in my little mirror here, I think they look pretty good. So let's go to concealer, and I don't have it out. I'm using the concealer that um, I got in my friend anonymous friend mail that I showed you. Oh my god, this is such awesome stuff. I've used it a couple of times already. The Tarte Shape, Shape, what is it? Shape Tape? That is so hard to read. And it's in fair. And we're going to go. I always like to go up a little bit because I have got some pretty good size wrinkles on that side. And I forgot to wet up, wet my. I usually would use a wet one and I forgot to use to wet it down. you believe I have got some very good friends I'll tell you that I've got some awesome friends that they would do something like that for me for my birthday and I never got I mean I got my mom took me out to eat and um, 
she bought me a few groceries. So that was my birthday. My son, I'm lucky I even got a phone call from him. Okay, let's go on to blush, and I am going to use my Milani Romantic Rose. And you guys know this is, these are one of my favorite all-time blushes. I forgot, totally forgot to use my my eye primer, but I put primer, when I was putting my primer on, I put primer on my eyes too, so. All right, so what I'm going to use is my e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. And let's see here, I think I will use this color here. Ooh, look at the kick up. Okay. Then for my lips. I'm going to use my Rock and Rose lip pencil. Get up here so you can see me. I suppose I should put it up so you can see it. And if you can see, It is so close to my lip color, you can't even see it on my lips. I always thought that I didn't have very pigmented lips, but I guess I do. This is also in my project pan. All right, today I'm going to use my Bite Beauty. And the writing is so small on this, I can't hardly read it. And Coolis. C-O-U-L-I-S. And it is a beautiful red. Since I've got red on today and I'm wearing red on my eyes, I thought I should wear red on my lips too. You guys know I love to rock a red lip on camera. Not so much in real life, but on camera I love to. All right, that is my, lip, my look today. Thank you so much for joining me, 
and I will um, take a few pictures if I can and post them on Instagram. What do you think? Let me know yay or nay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.